Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome back to our Abdominal Sonography Review. Let's dive back into this thing. Click on the Linea Alba Hernia. The answer is right here. All of this right here is the hernia. This right here is the peritoneal membrane. This is the linea alba membrane. There's a defect right here, and all of the contents right here are spilling into this area. This is the linea alba hernia. What does this image show? A, B, Zor, B, diverticulitis, C, Crohn's disease, or D, appendicitis? The answer is C, Crohn's disease. What does this image show? A, B, Zor, B, diverticulitis, C, Crohn's disease, or D, appendicitis? The answer is D, appendicitis. Click on the direct inguinal hernia. This right here is the hernia. This is the direct inguinal hernia. Which will not have an elevated lipase. A. Acute pancreatitis, B. Pancreatic adenocarcinoma, C. Renal failure, or D. Pancreatic hemangioma. The answer is D. Pancreatic hemangioma. Which will not have an elevated GGT? A. Gallbladder carcinoma B. Gallbladder polyps C. Gangrenous cholecystitis or D. Acute cholecystitis The answer is B. Gallbladder polyps. Click, Click on, on the, the zone, zone area where, where benign prostatic hyperplasia develops. The answer is right in this region here. This is called the transitional zone. Which type of hernia is related to pregnancy? A. Indirect inguinal hernia B. Femoral hernia C. Obturator hernia or D. Umbilical hernia The answer is B. Femoral hernia Click on the largest prosthetic zone of the prostate. The answer is right here. The peripheral zone is the largest area of the prostate. Which is the most common site for malignancy in the prostate? A. Peripheral zone B. Central zone C. Periurethral zone or D. Transitional zone
The answer is A, peripheral zone, which is not in the retroperitoneal area. A, gallbladder, B, pancreas, C, prostate gland, or D, IVC. The answer is A, gallbladder. Click on the central zone of this prostate. The answer is going to be right in this region here. And depending on the angle, you'll see it kind of come up this way and over this way. Or sometimes it'll just be one little small area. It just kind of depends on the angle. Click in the area where spagellian hernias occur. The answer is going to be right in this region. Which hernia develops along the edge of the rectus abdominis muscle just lateral to the midline? A. Indirect inguinal hernia. B. Direct inguinal hernia. C. Spigelian hernia. Or D. Epigastric hernia. The answer is going to be C, spigelian hernia. Where are inguinal hernias not found? A, labia, B, scrotum, C, umbilicus, or D, groin. The answer is C, umbilicus. Which zone is this lesion located in? A, peripheral zone, B, central zone, C, periurethral zone, or D, transitional zone? The answer is A, peripheral zone. Which produces and secretes alkaline fluid? A, prostate, B, kidney, C, pancreas, or D, adrenal glands? The answer is A, prostate. Where would a linea alba hernia be found? A, anywhere there is a surgical incision. B, midline of the abdomen and between the xiphoid process and the umbilicus. C, midline of the abdomen and between the umbilicus and the symphysis pubis. Or is it D, in the groin area passing down the femoral canal? The answer is B, midline of the abdomen and between the xiphoid process and the umbilicus. 
A patient with Dunbar syndrome breathes in when you place your sample volume in the proximal portion of the celiac artery. What can you expect to see on your image? A. Blood flow decreases. B. Velocities decrease. C. Velocities increase. Or D. Blood flow increases. The answer is D. Blood flow increases because now the median arcuate ligament is not compressing the celiac trunk anymore, so it's opening up, thus allowing blood flow to flow in more easily. A patient with Dunbar syndrome breathes out when you place your sample volume in the proximal portion of the celiac artery. What can you expect to see on your image? A. Nothing changes. B. Velocities decrease. C, velocities increase, or D, blood flow increases. The answer is C, velocities increase, because now when a patient breathes out, this will compress the celiac trunk by the median arcuate ligament, thus increasing velocities through that area. Which of the following below is also known as the linea alba hernia? A. Epigastric hernia B. Inguinal hernia C. Spigelian hernia or D. Umbilical hernia The answer is A, epigastric hernia. If any of you are looking for additional study material, go to my website, type in ultrasound board review, click at the top here, click on enter the pass zone, scroll down and you'll see the abdominal sonography mock exams right here. Click on this, scroll down and click subscribe. Or if you're looking for more of a one-on-one -on -one abdominal sonography tutoring, go to my website, type in ultrasound board review, click the first link at the top, click enter the pass zone, scroll down, click abdominal sonography tutoring, scroll down, and then click subscribe. I'm Jim with ultrasoundboardreview.com. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.